All right, so this PTS 160 has been uh, warming up all night long, as has my uh, my Dell, uh, my Dell, my uh, Rubidium frequency standard, which is in the Dell box, and uh, we've calibrated the uh, uh, the PTS to the rubidium standard and you can see one over top of the other here and a very 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 slow movement of the PTS frequency to the rubidium. A um, moment ago I had it completely stopped but we're we're drifting a fraction of a hertz. Now just to give you a demonstration here this is the one hertz knob I'm going to adjust that knob, and you watch the frequency. I'm going to go one hertz. Here we go. That's one hertz. And back to zero. So you can see how close we are. And it also demonstrates the, uh, the fact that the PTS does uh, change the frequency right down to the hertz on these selector knobs. So we've got hertz, tens of hertz, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, and hundred millions. Right now we have one on the ten million, the rest is zero. And then a moment ago I switched to the one on the uh, on the one hertz point. So, so this unit's been calibrated to the rubidium standard. Uh, we have a, uh, uh, a constant voltage on this thing. Um, spec says it maintains the uh, output to within a half, plus or minus one half a dB. Um, unit seems to be in great working order. I've used it uh, quite successfully for, I don't know, approximately the last four months. Uh, I've been quite happy with it. I, in fact, elated with it. So much so that uh, I went ahead and popped a little more money and I bought its bigger brother, the PTS 500, which I'm going to keep for my bench. So, um, I think this is a wonderful unit. I think you're going to be very happy with it, uh, whoever uh, decides to, to buy it. And uh, good luck. Okay, so we're looking at the inside of the PTS 160. And as you can see, very neat, very clean modern looking and uh, the unit works very well all right so there's our look at the inside all right we have the uh, PTS 160 feeding the uh, frequency counter and right at the moment we're getting a hundred million Hertz and we're getting it uh, to the Hertz that's coming out of the PTS I have the PTS dialed in to one and the rest of it is zeros all right what we're gonna do there's the one there's the zeros what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, take this down uh, <clears throat> essentially a step at a time and uh, and show you we'll take it a decade at a time and show you the results on the frequency counter okay let's go ahead we're going to go to 90 okay 80 70 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 20. Okay, there's uh, 10 megahertz. Now we're going to go to 9 megahertz. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we're going to go to 900 kilohertz. Eight hundred, seven hundred, six hundred, five hundred, four hundred, three hundred, two hundred. We are looking now at uh, one hundred and ninety kilohertz. 180, 170, 160, 150, 140, 130, 120, 10, 100. And that's the limit of the unit. Now, we've just seen that it will do this. It will go through the entire range. But I will tell you that uh, below about 167 kilohertz, uh, the Output does get a little squirrely and you have to fool with the attenuator to get it to work properly. It doesn't lock properly is the problem. So in order to get it locked you have to either reduce or increase either way the uh, the attenuation factor. When you're mid-band it uh, tends to want to tends to want to drop off not lock. But that's only the first 67 kilohertz out of its 160 megahertz range and it's uh, it's really very little in my case to worry about so in every other instance the uh, the waveform is clean pure and uh, and it locks in with no problem okay we're looking at the output of the PTS 160 right now we're at a, now we're at 160 megahertz and I don't think we can nope we're at the limit let's go ahead and do a, an expansion here Right, there's the waveform. I'm going to take her down. It's 160, 150, 40, 30, 20, 10, 100. Okay, I'm going to take the expansion off. Ninety, eighty, seventy. 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 9 megahertz, 8, 7, 6, let's go ahead and turn our frequency down, 5, Four, three, two, one megahertz, nine hundred kilohertz, eight hundred kilohertz, seven hundred, six hundred, five hundred, four hundred, three hundred. Let's go ahead and turn down our frequency or horizontal sweep. There we go. Go the brightness a little bit. Um, 200 kilohertz. 
100 kilohertz. That's the limit. So let's go up the other way. Let's go ahead and uh, there's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, a million. 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, 6 million, 7 million, 8 million, 9 million, 10 million. There's 10. 20 million, 30 million, 40 million, 50 million, 60 million, 70 million, 80 million, 90, 100. And we've swept through the whole band. Nice clean waveform at 100 mega. And there's 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There's 160. So we have seen that it went through the entire range and that it's a, an exceptional unit. I, for the money, it's going to be very, very tough to beat. So good luck on your bidding. It will uh, will include this manual. This manual contains information on the PTS-160, its DMA section, and circuitry, parts, theory of operation, maintenance, so on. So, so again, good luck. Happy bidding.